how much bigger, in fact, can, can Pink Floyd get? You know, I'm thinking of the, the sort of extravaganzas one reads about, big shows. I mean, if one sets out to top what one's ever done before, scale-wise, every time, you, you've got to come to a limit at some point. We, we just try to do a new show, something different, every time. It's not, um, it's, we, we don't think it's uh, very valuable to be in competition with ourselves, with our last thing, so. And like a lot of bands, you might say, you know, we'd like to get back to playing smaller venues. That would never be the case for you, would it? No, thank you. Um, I, you know, we all have the opportunity. I have the opportunity to just play as small venues as I want, pubs and clubs in England if I want to with other people. I've uh, done a solo tour three years ago, which um, was playing in uh, sort of theatres 3,000 up, up to the sort of arena size, 15,000 seaters on a slightly smaller scale. Um, it's great fun, um, but um, Pink Floyd works better in a large-ish place. Do the charts mean anything to you at all? The charts? Mm. Well, as an indicator of sales success, they mean something, yes. What about the singles charts? Um, the singles charts, we've never been particularly good at singles, and the singles charts aren't... Uh, we, we, we don't have to have singles. I mean, it's been proved over and over again that, that our posters fall off the wall. Another mm. hole in the wall, yeah. Uh, that it's been proved uh, many times that um, we can sell records without a single. Um, the two biggest selling records we've ever had have had hit singles on them. In fact, Dark Side of the Moon had a hit in America, and uh, The Wall had a hit around the world. But, um, you know, we've done very, very respectable sales on albums like Wish You Here and Animals and this one without a hit single. So it's not something that's absolutely vital. One doesn't hear a whiff of scandal about Pink Floyd, you seem able to lead fairly normal lives. Is that the way you work it? It's very nice to, uh, you know, have uh, all that uh, this, this uh, success brings us and not have to uh, cultivate the personality as such. I mean, a lot of people have to. Um, their careers depend on it, you know, on their own personal flamboyant lifestyle um, and, um, or apparently flamboyant lifestyle. We don't do it just for, just for the money or for the audiences. I mean, we do it for our own uh, satisfaction. I mean, is the name Pink Floyd the important thing? Um, of course it's important. Yeah. It's important to me. It's important to us. I mean, I have spent 20 years of my life um, working on building that name up. Um, it's, it, it doesn't actually make sense to me to, to start all over I, under a new name or my own solo name or anything and uh, and have to work as hard as we worked for so many years at the beginning to try and I mean it does take an, in, an intense amount of work and effort to to achieve the sort of thing that we've uh, we've managed to achieve and I see it no reason whatsoever why I should give that up just because one guy says he doesn't want to do it anymore it's it's not, it's not the normal thing is it I mean if someone leaves a group or something that they, the others normally get to carry on